Absolutely. It was a high five between those two, but a high signal uh, to America and to others uh, that it'll be very hard to isolate the Saudis. Not that the uh, um, uh, Trump administration wants to, but there are some in Congress who do. Uh, I mean, it was a very clear message, as we've been talking about, to, to the United States that the Saudi still has friends out there. I mean, when you look at uh, uh, the Russia-Saudi relationship, it's not uh, always been smooth going in the past. It's been complicated um, before. But, you know, how do you think the U.S. reacts to this, if indeed it does at all? I think that the Trump administration has had a, a fairly steady view uh, on what to do in the aftermath of uh, the Khashoggi killing, which almost certainly traces directly back to the crown prince. And there appears to be uh, considerable evidence among uh, intelligence agencies pointing in that direction. But the United States has a, has a major interest in the region in uh, constraining Iran and its biggest ally in, in the area it's two big allies in the area, Israel and Saudi Arabia, and it doesn't want to uh, alienate the Saudis given the huge stakes involving Iran. What do you think the U.S. response is going to be overall? I mean, you know, it's it's the, the doesn't seem to be a very coordinated response on much in the states at the moment. Um, anyone's guess how things sort of uh, pan out or what the latest tweet is going to say. But with this particular instance, um, Donald Trump has been very hesitant to directly criticise MBS, uh, despite the Khashoggi killing. Um, and uh, obviously there are others in the U.S. who want sanctions on the country. I mean, how do you see it panning out? Uh, from the very beginning, I thought that what uh, the Trump administration would try to do is signal some sanctions, uh, partly in order to rein in MBS and partly to satisfy domestic, uh, domestic opinion in the United States, Western Europe and the rest. But I think that uh, the United States would like to stretch all this out so that uh, it eventually blows over. Uh, I don't think it wants major sanctions on the Saudis. And as I said, though, there are wild cards here and the major wild cards uh, lie in the Congress. And this is not this is a bipartisan issue. There are Republicans uh, such as Lindsey Graham, uh, as well as major Democrats who see this as an important issue. This is always the case. This goes back 150 years um, in England. The same issue arose between Prime Minister uh, Disraeli and his opponent Gladstone over what to do uh, about the Turkish murders uh, in the context of a fight with the Russians. These issues always come up where strategic uh, considerations often push against democratic values and they involve some very hard choices. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.